Good morning, everyone. It's Nicole again, um, and I am here to talk a little bit about correction boluses and about the fact that correction boluses, not all correction boluses are created equal. Um, I was thinking about this, be oh, sorry, first of all, this is personal experience, my own personal experience, not to be used as medical advice. Um, I was thinking about this the other day because I had um, a scenario coming out of exercise that is a common scenario for me. So I figure for those of you that haven't seen it yet, you know, maybe you could keep an eye out for it. Um, this is the auto mode versus manual mode correction bolus. Um, here's the scenario. I was about three hours after exercise. Um, my blood sugar was a 260. Again, that is that auto mode rise that sometimes comes after the minimal delivery that happens during exercise. Um, so um, I'm not afraid of seeing a 260. I, I am trying to figure out how to get around that, but I'm not afraid of seeing it. And I understood why it was. But what I did know for a fact is that I needed a correction bolus. Um, so my BG was a 260. And at the time I had, I had two units on board, which would have probably been for a coffee following exercise. Um, okay, so what I did, the first thing I did is I went to my auto mode bolus and I put in a 260. My insulin on board was two units. Um, in case you don't understand how that works, when it calculates your correction, it is gonna subtract your insulin on board from the total it wants to give you because it wants to make sure you don't get too much insulin. It's saying that you already have that active, so you don't need that. Um, so I know it's gonna subtract the two. Um, okay, so for a blood glucose of 260 and in, in two units on board, my auto mode recommended correction was a 0.1. Okay, so in a second I'll explain why that's not going to work. Um, so then I went to my calculator and I used a 120 as my target blood glucose. Um, how I do that is I take 120 away from the 260 because I'm trying to figure out how high, how much higher I am than what, where I want to be. So I subtract 120 from 260, which means I, which means I was 140 points over my target. I divide by 30. That's my sensitivity factor. That's how much one unit's going to drop me. So 140 divided by 30 is 4.67. So, so my full correction would have been 4.67, but then I have to take away that two units on board. So that would be 2.67. So I'll say that it was an estimated correction of 2.6 versus the 0.1 in auto mode. Um, so at that point I said, okay, this is a big difference. I'm gonna go ahead and exit auto mode. I'm gonna go into manual mode and I'm gonna put in my, um, put in my numbers and see what manual mode will give me. Um, I've said in another video that manual mode is the go-to when you need to bring down a high. Auto mode just doesn't do that for me. Um, so I exited, I went to manual mode, and with the bolus wizard in manual mode, it said it wanted me to take 2.4 units of insulin. So again, in, in auto mode, it was giving me 0.1, and in manual mode, it was 2.4, which was very close to my own estimate. So I said, okay, I'm out, and I went ahead and... Um, did the full correction. Um, basically, manual mode wanted to drop me 72 points. It wanted to drop my blood glucose 72 points, um, which is 2.4 times 30 for me. Um, and auto mode wanted to drop me three points, and that's 0.1 times 30. So, um, I don't know if this is other people's experience, but I do know that uh, for me, the auto mode correction is usually far short of what I actually need for a correction. And overnight, that's wonderful because it prevents me from going, you know, to, into hypoglycemia. Um, but during the day when I'm living and busy being a diabetic, it doesn't really work so well. So that's it. Bye.